Hey guys, Ben Graham here with Remax. Hope you are doing great and have um, some solid plans coming up for Valentine's Day. All you guys, especially out there, get something on the books. Anyhow, wanted to jump into video blog, vlog number eight, and talk about the four common mistakes I'm seeing sellers make in today's market. But before we get into that, just wanted to remind you, if you are searching for a home to buy or just curious what's out there, want to play around, um, up above is a link to search MLS just like I do. So take advantage of that. And also, if you're thinking about selling, even if you're just curious, want to know what's going on in the area, or if you really are looking to make a move here in the new future, definitely call me in that case. But again, if you're just curious, again, up above is a great link to get a uh, uh, an idea of what's going on in the area. So with that said, let's jump into today's topic, four common mistakes that we are seeing sellers make in today's market. The first is listing for sale by owner. Now, this isn't an, a new mistake that uh, people are making in, in today's world, but the gravity of the mistake is getting even bigger because what we're seeing is a complete shift, this may not surprise you, to the internet and marketing. Now, when you list for sale by owner, you're effectively getting rid of that entire segment of the market and you've only got your your sign out in the front yard, which is not what seller, I mean buyers are um, going to first to look for homes. They've already basically been in your home by the time they've actually come in your home. And that leads me to the second point is properly getting your home photographed. Now here we use a professional photographer to capture your home in the best lighting in the best way possible. So that would be the mistake number two is not using professional photography because again, buyers have already basically been in your home by the time that they actually show up at the door. So we've got to get them to the door with good photos. Mistake number three would be, of course, overpricing your home. Now I know everybody wants to set the high water mark in the neighborhood, maximize their, their profit, their proceeds, et cetera. I get that, but the, um, the air could be pricing it so high, buyers and really the real estate agents don't even wanna come over and look at the home because it's just way overpriced in the market. So it's not even worth their time. So we can get into the nuances of that when or if you are ready to actually pull the trigger and uh, put your home on the market, but that is a huge mistake I commonly see a lot of folks out there making. And then um, number four is can be debatable, but bottom line, guys, keep your home clean. <laughs> That's not debatable, but landscaping is what I really want to talk about. A lot of people are getting their home clean, clutter fee it free and whatnot, but they're completely neglecting either the front or the back landscaping. Let's not forget about that. It doesn't need to be designer perfect like the home does inside, but please maintain it, pick it up. Um, you know, even if you got to hire a landscaper for the short time it's on the market, it would be well worth that investment just so we've got that perfect curb appeal. If you have any questions on today's topic or searching for homes or selling your home, feel free to call, text, email me back, and I look forward to hearing from you. Take care.